Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Margarita here, for those who don't know me and for those who do, welcome back my loves. Today is a very exciting video. It's super exciting because this is so my vibe. I've been waiting to do this video for such a long time, but I really wanted to sit down and rethink really about what I want to say because looking expensive and being expensive are very different things. Ever since I was young, I've had this skill for somehow looking expensive, even when I was an immigrant child and didn't have money. I think I honed it for that reason. And sometimes people think that I look more expensive than I actually am. So I think it's a skill I can really share with you. So if you stay tuned in this video, I'm going to give you plenty of tips that I have off the top of my dome and my knowledge on actually how to look expensive. These are not generic, like we're all neutrals. I mean, okay, we're all neutrals. These are real tricks and hacks about how to look expensive for less. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to tell you a couple of things. First of all, follow me on Instagram. It's The Blonde Avenue. We have a lot of fun over there. And also subscribe. And perhaps if you really want to put on the notification bell, that means all my videos get seen by you guys as soon as they come out and then they get ranked higher and my channel gets discovered and then we can get to 10,000 subscribers and you get the super special Hermes Birkin reveal video with my mum. Talking of my mum, those of you who are the Blonde Avenue mum lovers, I'm gonna put in a special message that she left for you guys at the end of the video. She is the epitome of fabulosity. Something else I wanna share is this video is in a collaboration with Lily Silk. Lily Silk is a brand I really, really love. I don't work with brands I am not passionate about and they make exquisite, stunning silk product. What is more expensive looking and posh feeling and a little bit <clears throat> delicious than silk? So the blouses I feature in this video and some of the other things are by Lily Silk, like this one over here, and you can get 12% off. It's not an affiliate link. I don't get anything from it, although I don't think you guys would mind if I got something from it. You'd be like, get that bag, girl. You can get these shirts and a few things I'm wearing for 12% off with TBA12 on their website, and the links will be below. Okay, without further ado, let's find out how to look expensive. I've just moved over on the side here so I can show you a little bit of me styling the outfits on this side. I hope you like that format. Okay, so tip number one is to pair a luxurious piece like a silk blouse, which you can find at Lily Silk, but you can also find them in many places. So they don't even have to be silk with a pair of distressed denims. Here is me dancing for you, for your entertaining pleasure. And um, I think the distressed denim look with a blouse and a heel roll up the denim looks so expensive and so luxurious it's often done by fashion bloggers and people who like to be comfortable yet they know an expensive silk blouse they know in a good expensive jean and normally these jeans are vintage or levi's so that's my first tip on how to look expensive my second tip on how to look expensive is please 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 have clean shoes the giveaway of you not being expensive or having an expensive wardrobe is the fact that you do not care about your shoes contrary to popular belief when people have money they actually look after their money that is what makes their money attracted to them and that's a whole other topic but guys clean shoes well looked after after you don't have to have many pairs but if you want to look expensive I would advise for you to wear a pointed front a pointed toe on the heel they just look more put together and more formal and more expensive and if you're in a warm country go for a strappy heel thirdly I want you to think about opulent materials I want you to think about silks velvets things like that not trashy but classy I want you to think about how materials sit on your body it doesn't have to be from an expensive store like I said but things that fall nicely like this shirt here and look like they're moving with you. It's all about tailoring and it's all about scrumptious materials. And I think silk is a really great option for that. Talking of materials, tweed can make anyone look expensive. Tweed has been used by heritage brands for the longest time. You can think of Chanel. And if you put a tweed blazer over your shoulders, you are countryside, you are giving me poshness you are giving me i'm going horse riding there's something about a tweed jacket or tweed anything that gives you a little note of you know i don't know you're a little bit rock and roll you're a little bit kate moss you're a little bit english you're a little bit expensive so tweed is a great material the blazer i am wearing is from zara and it is not expensive at all 
a lot of stores make tweed prints at the moment with a little rough hemmed edge and they're pucker stunning the next tip is tailored high-waisted trousers guys I have some pairs from Ralph Lauren, like the ones here, but ignore that. We're trying to look expensive on a budget. So um, another one I have is from Zara, H&M, think high-waisted. So they hit you just like above the belly button and also tailored people who wear expensive clothes are often looking for tailoring that's going to flatter their body as opposed to trends that come and go. And I know a lot of the um, thoughts about tailored trousers, they can look a bit officey and old, but they don't because it's about your vibe. You act vibrant and happy and you're wearing tailored trousers you're gonna look expensive and not dowdy guys it's about how you carry it i love a tailored high-waisted trouser Mwah. love it another tip is purchase um entry level designer now this is not on a budget but look everyone's budget is different so i'm trying to cater to everybody if you can spend a little bit on a designer piece and i don't mean something bright that screams designer look at me you are but something um small from a designer like a pair of earrings or a belt um like an lv belt i'm not a massive fan but do your belts lovely and you can um like you know the gucci belts with the little b on it you can buy uh into a designer trend and then you can wear it and it will elevate your outfit or a lot of shops these days like gucci did that um hair clip on the back which is kind of tortoise shell with gems a lot of stores started to do the same thing so just look at the fashion house and look at how they use their um, designs and materials and, and go with that and run with that that's a really good idea accessorize in the way that that fashion house accessorizes guys this is a tip that is very very interesting if you're gonna get a bag it doesn't have to be designer because we're talking about being expensive on a budget but notice how most designer bags which are on the exclusive side we're thinking Birkin we're thinking Kelly we're thinking a lot of Chanel top handle bags have a top handle and a lot of bags that are a little bit more casual across body or on the arm do you know why because if a woman is expensive or what we're trying to be expensive here by the way guys don't get sensitive about it it's just the video if we're trying to look expensive you only need a top handle because you're probably gonna hop into the back of an uber or a car and sit your bag next to you you're not gonna be traipsing around the town um, having to hang your bag off you so a way to look expensive is to get a top handle bag I know you haven't noticed it before but notice how a lot of expensive bags kind of expect that you are going to be sitting in a car and not really carrying the bag on your arm all day so if you're thinking of getting a bag in a store which isn't designed to look around and that top handle design is a very kind of elevated high-end look one of my other hacks for looking a little bit more expensive is wearing a blazer over your shoulders instead of putting your arms through it, a way to look really expensive and elevated is to wear it on your shoulders i really like that look i think it looks very almost masculine and i think a lot of looking expensive is playing around with masculine and feminine if you notice a lot of things are silk and stunning and masculine meets feminine i really really love that look it's really up my alley my next hack is if you're gonna buy a coat buy a trench coat trench coats are very burberry they speak a lot about again that kind of expensive country living style i think that's what i think of when i think expensive and i've worn this trench coat which is by lily silk again that's 12 percent off in the discount code below and i've styled it in different ways i've styled it with a scarf you can get a scarf anywhere you can style it with a belt around you can play around with it you can wear it open you can wear it on the shoulders there are so much ways to wear a trench and i really love a trench in those classic trench colors as well as um the lighter beige colors or a camel coat camel all those like tones are very very expensive looking and the last way i've styled it and i've seen this a lot on bloggers in the runway is with a bum bag or a belt bag this belt bag is only 12 dollars or something like that and it's nothing special but it just elevates the look i feel like you can play around so much with elements when you you know have a piece that is versatile like a trench coat and i think out of all jackets it's the most expensive looking needless to say the most expensive looking color is the color white but if you're gonna wear it, wear it clean. I'm a bit of a all over the place person. So white, as much as I can wear it, I have to be so careful because I'm gonna touch something, guys. I'm gonna do it. But if you guys can pull it off and you can have crisp white whites that you have washed and they're bleached and white and crispy, girl, you're gonna look expensive. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. The color white is for rich people.
they can afford to mess it up. Another one of my tips is wear one color overall, like a block color, like you saw in the white outfit that I wore. It looks really, really good. Or, and this is controversial, a lot of people just say stick to neutrals, but I think, moving aside so you can see the image, jewel tones are the way to go. This red shirt I am crazy about. It is so stunning, again, from Lily Silk. Look at that red, I just wanna bite it. It's like a pomegranate. It's so delicious. Ruby tones. Um, emerald greens, sapphire blues, all the jewel tones are so expensive and delicious looking. Guys, honestly, wear it and you will see. It will change your life. Another tip is gingham or tooth hound, hound tooth. I don't know how you say it, but those kind of prints and checks for a skirt or for a blazer are so expensive looking and they look so good i have a couple of skirts like that and they just look stunning i really really love that print um it's really great to match with the ruby tones that i talked to you about or it's good to match with any like silk shirt or even t-shirt if you throw on a white t-shirt and that kind of gingham skirt and even a flat shoe and your hair swept back sunglasses you're looking expensive you're going out there but you have that kind of textured vibe that gingham provides you i think it can look really really good and again countryside chic another tip is to wear high-waisted i noticed that when you want to look expensive wearing high-waisted trousers or skirts really elevates the look it makes the legs look longer it makes you look more opulent and it really really carries the style well i think when you go for a low jean you're looking very much britney spears hit me baby one more time which is a look i love that look but it's not when you want to look expensive when you want to look expensive take it high take it above the belly button and make sure that's where it stays because that is a really like i'm a boss woman look another tip is pearls as you can see this shirt by Lily Silk has this gorgeous design in the middle here and a pearl at the end and I've teamed them with my Dior earrings. Stop, I know you're gonna say, but Dior it's so expensive. Everywhere has earrings like this. Um, I've never seen a shirt like this, but you can go on Lily Silk. Again, there's a discount code down below and um, a pearl is something very bougie, darling. You're lying there in your pearls, you know? And they don't have to be real. It's just the denotion of a pearl, that notion of like, the queen of the sea. I love it. It's very expensive. Guys, I'm sure you noticed that my hair is like this a lot recently. I'm on the hair growth journey, okay? Give me a break. But I tell you what, if you can't style your hair, I can style my hair by the way, and don't, <laughs> don't come for me. If you can't style your hair though, and it's not lying right at that moment, wear a ballerina bun. Wear a knot, just wear it like this. It's the most sleek, looking hairstyle you can ever think of and it looks so expensive and so posh because you're just like there living with your hair back not giving a damn it's so easy going instead of if your hair's not laying right hair's a dead giveaway that you're not an expensive person i've said the word expensive so often but that's what the video is called if your hair is just wacky and all out of place it's gonna ruin your whole vibe so if it's not working for you if the blow dry isn't popping pop it back let's talk about makeup and manicure Okay, everyone in America is going to have a little heart attack right now, but a way to look expensive, guys, I'm going to say it, is to wear no nail varnish. A lot of the way that I grew up, a lot of the people who are truly expensive and truly no style aren't so much about fake long acrylic nails. I know, I know, it's crazy. A good shellac manicure is good, but I've often seen on people who truly are comfortable with themselves and have this opulent sexy style they either wear a really clean manicured nail or really well looked after nails with nothing on them i know i know i know just short nails i know i know i know i struggle with this one too but it is a thing and secondly makeup perfect one look perfect a bronzy easy good eyebrow feathered eyebrow neutral lipstick or red lipstick look perfect it every single day and wear it all the time it becomes your signature look you do it well you look like a movie star you're not messing around with crazy colors you're gonna look really good and you're gonna look expensive with your hair done right your skin's looking good your face is looking good your nails are manicured and polished you're looking amazing and i've got one more tip to make you look expensive and this is probably the best tip my last tip to look expensive is to get an expensive cat. So you can sit like a villain and go <laughs> looking expensive. Come on, all the Bond villains have an expensive Persian or British short hair cat like this. There is no way around it, guys. This is the part that you're gonna have to invest in. 
Investment is key if you want to look expensive. Are you looking at me like I'm crazy? Expensive cat, expensive life. Sorry, babe. I came up for that. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. And here is my message from the Bond Avenue mom. Take it away. Hello, everybody. Mom here from the Blonde Avenue. Just um, came back from running. I already in London and wanted just to say hello to you all. So whether in London, not like in Sydney, very cold and gloomy, but we used to. It's okay. So we get in sporty you see i have a sport watch sport glasses all this equipment so rose cheeks so day is starting hello everybody love you all isn't she so adorable i actually love her so from now on you guys know she's the expert on all things fabulosity fabulousness fabulousness if you guys want to ask her a question, leave it in the comments below, but right in the beginning for the Blonde Avenue mum or for TBA mum or for our mum or whatever. And, oh my God, he's trying to, he's trying to, he's trying to attack me from the bottom there. He's like, why did you wake me up? And uh, she's going to answer it for you. So I'll pick one question every week. I'm going to send it over to her. She's going to record her answer. It could be anything from her home, from her style, from wherever. And if you guys are confused about who she is, again, go back in my videos. She's fabulous, darling. Oh, she's always looking expensive even when she wasn't expensive she looked expensive i got all this from my mama anyway guys thank you so much for watching i love you lots like a jelly tots see you on the next one bye You're my